Still with COVID-19 developments, this time assistance for impacted individuals under the UN Women and Gender COVID-19 Response Subvention Project. Under VN Gender, enabling gender responsive disaster recovery, climate and environmental resilience in the Caribbean project, Global Affairs Canada has repurposed funds to support a COVID-19 response through UN Women Multi-Country Office in the form of small grants for the tourism and agriculture sectors. Persons in these sectors have been negatively affected by the COVID-19 pandemic and the funds will be offered as a source of relief. This aligns with the Engenda Project's mandate as it seeks to further integrate gender equality and human rights-based approaches into disaster risk reduction, climate change adaptation, environmental management frameworks and interventions, as well as identifying and addressing some of the gaps to ensure equal access to disaster risk reduction, climate change and environment solutions for men, women, boys and girls in nine countries, including St. Lucia. Jani Joseph is the Director of Gender Relations in the Ministry of Education, Innovation, Gender Relations and Sustainable Development. None of us, especially those of us whose incomes were not impacted by the pandemic, can fully comprehend what the women whose livelihoods were lost to the COVID pandemic are really experiencing. This initiative only provides a small response to a very deep problem we know that, but we are very grateful to UN Women for their support in this initiative and their support generally to us in St. Lucia. We are grateful to the project management unit of the Engenda project for their unwavering support. But we are eternally grateful to the government of Canada for their support at this, our lowest point. We hope that this small gesture of support of which you will hear more about during the ceremony, will go a long way towards providing relief to the 110 recipients in this most challenging time. Given that in St. Lucia, a large majority of jobs and livelihoods are within the agriculture and tourism sectors, many farmers have suffered significant losses during the global lockdown due to the stay-at-home orders and the inability to sell produce to the hotels. Chief Extension Officer in the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Natural Resources, Physical Planning and Cooperatives, Comuel Jean-Baptiste, expressed gratitude for the initiative. But purchasing power is still down. And so these vendors at the street markets, they continue to contend. They head out with this primary produce. And sometimes 50% is sold, 20%, there's no telling. And so we see that this COVID-19 has had some severe impact, but not just on the vendors. We have the agro-processors. They're involved in producing condiments. They're involved in producing an assortment of products. But because purchasing power is, is highly reduced, we see that there is a reduction in the earnings for these women. And so the Department of Agriculture is really thankful that the Engenda Project and United Nations Women have taken a decision to provide support to those vulnerable populations. The travel restrictions affected accommodations, restaurants, local craft vendors, souvenir shops, taxi drivers, tours and other activities frequented by locals as well as international tourists. Ministry of Tourism, Information and Broadcasting, Culture and Creative Industries, Tourism and Research Officer Tussell Lewis explained that thousands of employees in the tourism sector were negatively impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. And again, this program is very important. We see that a lot of women have been disadvantaged during this pandemic. We know that a lot of other work is coming up. We have a lot of construction happening on island. However, we know that it's mostly men who are usually employed within that field. So it's very difficult. We have a lot of women in terms of their skill set for these persons to be re-employed. So this, this program really is, is going to be beneficial to them. So on behalf of the Ministry of Tourism and its operators, we would like to say a heartfelt thank you to the Department of Gender Relations for the introduction and the successful rollout of the UN Women and Gender COVID-19 response program. The assistance you have provided here is extremely crucial to these women who depend on the sector in these uncertain times. 
60 women craft vendors and tour guides across St. Lucia will receive support in the form of cash grants and food vouchers for two consecutive months. 50 small rural female farmers will be receiving financial support towards purchasing farming equipment. Each recipient will be receiving a voucher valid for one month from the date of issue to redeem at any of the four local farming equipment stores which were pre-selected by the Ministry of Agriculture. From the Government Information Service, I am Janelle Norville.